Hi, this is Corey Feldman. I'm coming to you today to talk to you about what's on everybody's mind. I told everybody a few days ago that I had a plan to try and hopefully bring to light what is happening in the world of entertainment as far as perverts and pedophiles and all of the topics of what we've been discussing. From what I've seen, every time somebody tries to bring up a public name and they have a lot of money and power and a publicity machine behind them, the person who does the accusing is the one that ends up looking bad. They would pull away the better looking younger kids and keep them for their own after party and it would turn into a pool party. And then they'd have their rules, oh, there's no swimsuits on in the pool. Feldman, a former child star who appeared in classic 80s movies like The Goonies and Stand By Me, says he's lived his life in shame and fear because of sexual abuse. Ever since I even discussed the fact that I have this plan, my life has turned into utter chaos. You can probably tell by the sound of my voice. It's pretty ripped up because of the devastation of what I've been through the past few days. I've experienced things like never before. I mean, I've been silenced my whole life, but just over the past few days since I made that announcement, I've been arrested. I had a near-death experience last night where I felt like I was almost gonna be killed. Uh, two trucks came speeding at me at the same time on a crosswalk. And then several of my band members decided to quit because they're afraid for their lives. How did people not know when these are two, or, or did they know and they just weren't doing anything about it? I mean, I know he told a lot of people. That's the thing that's so upsetting to me. It's not like it's just me that knows this story. Other people know. A lot of people know. They're still working, they're still out there, and they're some of the richest, most powerful people in this business. Back in 2013, on The View, Feldman was insistent that perpetrators are still out there. And I believe that I can also bring down, potentially, a pedophile ring that I've been aware of since I was a child. Right off the bat, I can name six names. One of them who is still very powerful today and a, a story that links all the way up to a studio. It connects pedophilia to one of the major studios. I am very afraid to do this. It's not easy. I'm very alone, but I need to protect myself and I need to protect my family. I need additional security. And I've been degraded at great levels. Uh, rumors have been told, stories have been made up about me. And I've been insulted and degraded in ways that were unimaginable to me. All because they fear what I know as the truth. The organized system within Hollywood for grooming and then abusing children. At the end of the day, it's gotta change. There's so many people out there that have been affected by this. And I'm not alone. I know that there's thousands of others that have experienced what I've experienced in the entertainment industry. I also know that there's peers of mine who know exactly what I'm talking about and know all the details but have been afraid to come forward with their own truths. Kids are scared, you know, kids don't think I'm gonna go. First of all, for me, the person that was doing it to me the most 
you know, um, well, I mean, I could say that the, the two people that did it to me were both close friends of mine, or so I thought. But additionally, not just the entertainment industry, the entire world, the entire planet can come together over this issue. Because our children are the most sacred things we have. Who could even dream of robbing an innocent child of their life experience? It's not fair and it must end. I can tell you that the number one problem in Hollywood was and is and always will be pedophilia. Nobody talks about pedophilia. It's the big secret. And it's widespread? Oh yeah. I was surrounded by them. For years now, as evidenced on Nightline in 2011, Corey Feldman has been claiming that he and his good friend, the late Corey Haim, were victims of molestation when they were young actors. You freeze. You're, you're in shock. I mean, children aren't supposed to handle that sort of stuff. The time is now. I've had people on Twitter begging me to do this, and I need to tell you that with 30,000 new followers just in the last week, I know this is what everybody wants to know. Everybody wants the answer. Who did this? Who's responsible? They all want the answer, and all these people taunt me and tease me and bully me on social media on a daily basis. Every day when I go on Twitter, I have to be confronted with this topic that I do not want to have to think about again. But every day when I'm trying to live my life and do other things <clears throat> and go on with my tour that I've worked so hard for, I had to lose all of that for this. And I'm willing to walk away from all of it if I can make a difference. And let the truth be told so that the people who have done this damage can come to their consequences they deserve. Justice will be served under God's name. Because this is about good and evil. At the end of the day, there is nothing more evil than people who want to take advantage of innocent children. So I'm begging you to join me and let our voices be heard. I've lived in shame and fear my entire life, and so have millions of others. And now we have the ability to let our voices be heard and break the dam of silence. I propose to do this by making a film that will be the most honest and true depiction of child abuse ever portrayed by telling my own story in a very real way, in a very honest way, with no editing, no censorship, no studio behind it. I will make the film, I'll direct the film, I'll produce the film, and I will self-distribute it to guarantee that it gets a theatrical release with your donations. And once it's done, I believe that we can revolutionize the film industry in a way that we can root out the evil and make it safe for our kids again. So please join me in this fight. I know that together we can stand strong.
What I'm proposing is a plan that I believe can literally change the entertainment system as we know it. Let's protect them together. God bless you.